Hey guys. Yeah, it's a nice morning to check livestock, isn't it? Everything's green, just a little cool, but it's gonna warm up. Yeah, we've had quite a few more goats and lambs over here at this particular pasture that I'm kind of checking, close to the house. I don't like bothering them much, that's why I don't like tagging them. But if you tag them, it's, I understand that. And if you use that information, it's always useful if you use it, but I just didn't, so. Now, if you're kind of walking up to them, it's best to walk in a straight line and, and a line that would not go right at them, but maybe take you up right along beside them. And you can get a lot closer to them if you're trying to, to catch them or do something. Sheep are a lot, a lot harder to catch than, uh, than goats, it seems like, if you're you're trying to get up and get going quicker and uh, their moms are uh, a little more uh, I don't know cautious maybe the word than most goats although there's some goats that are difficult too but if you've been feeding with the bucket you can probably probably get those goats to come up and maybe those sheep too we don't normally do that but uh, I just we didn't have to have too many buckets but sometimes we'll take them a treat and they remember from some time maybe before that they gotten a little something but the sheep yeah they sometimes don't don't really care they're just better mothers in that respect yeah even though we've had several kids in here i, I don't know how many kids and lambs but look at all these they're still bagged up Ray kid there's a lot left to go I was going to show you a picture of our guard dogs but two of them are hanging up here on me went and pet it here comes one we've got four dogs in here and this is really a nice situation here where it's some open country it's easy for the dogs to check her out it's about Oh, I don't know, 65 or 70 acres here, and uh, they'll they'll stay on here, uh, and then we just have to open the gate for the next move. So um, it's not a hard move. Yesterday, well, I didn't wasn't able to get a video of it, but uh, we moved a bigger herd of sheep, and it wasn't very far. It was about three fourths of a mile, but they'd. Oh, we misjudged the, the grass in the place and they were going to run out of grass before they got done lambing. And they already started lambing. I don't know how many, many there's probably at least 50 on the ground. And they were maybe three, four days old for the most part. Uh, let me just say this. Don't do that. And we knew better. Um, we just, just misjudged the grass. And so we moved them up the road to a place that... Uh, They'll have enough grass there and they can finish lambing out and they can uh, uh, get some some age on those lambs before we have to move them again because uh, we had to, we finally got them to move but a bunch of the kids just laid down there in the road. So we ran back and forth with the four wheelers and carried them in the, in the box there. Well, that box there that, that Autumn's in and in our arms and uh, yeah I don't know I would say there was at least 30 of them maybe 40 that didn't didn't want to travel and of course then the moms were hard to get going um, to leave their lambs so we got them pushed down and through the gate and then carried those lambs down there put them all in the same place sort of out um, out in the middle of the pasture but in through the gate but a little ways farther and uh, that way if the ewes came back towards the gate where they come in they would find them and uh, we ended up uh, pushing all those ewes then back to their those 30 or so kids that were still uh, kind of where we put them there 
and washed them and, tried, and they got paired back up and I think everybody was fine then but you know it just was a real rodeo and so I wouldn't recommend doing that and I knew better and uh, but you know we, I just didn't check that grass over there I thought it would hold them but it's evident after a couple of days it wasn't going to so uh, yeah try to put them in some place that they can get out lamb out and stay there long enough where they can get up and move and travel before you have to move them very far you can move them across the fence through a gate something like that like what we're gonna end up doing with these but uh yeah three-fourths of a mile down the road that just wasn't really a, a good idea and it wasn't in our plan but you know that's just sort of how things work out sometimes so well, we'll see what else is going on here. Yeah, hey, if you've been kind of following along, this is that doe that had triplets and, and a few days ago I showed you and that one wasn't doing very good. He was just laid down and I left him because his mom could do more for him than what I could do. And she got him up and there they go. And they're all three looking good. And I'll just leave them on her. She's a pretty good sized doe. Um, I do have a, a uh, adoption candidate back at the barn that lost her kid there if you remember but um, I'm gonna see I, I may have somebody else that needs adoption worse than she does um, I've only got one candidate so um, I better look around a little bit more <laughs> 